If you perfect this group of plays, you will be almost impossible to stop in Madden 22. This is probably my favorite mini scheme I've released all year. And we are going to have options to attack anything the defense throws our way. The first play is at a PA bubble Y over at a doubles offset week. This play will absolutely torch any zone defense and get behind zone drops no matter how deep they are set. While also giving us some great options underneath. The second play is sale also out of doubles offset week. This might be my favorite play in this whole scheme. It is incredibly versatile and creates simple reads all over the field that makes it almost impossible for the D to win. So for this mini scheme, we'll be continuing my Oregon spread offense out of the spread playbook. And I'm going to leave a playlist down in the description with every play out so far in this scheme if you guys want to check it out after this video. Now this PA bubble Y overplay is so good because it beats any zone coverage and it is especially deadly against those double flat Mabel coverages that are becoming more and more popular. This is going to get behind those deep zone defenders and it is going to drive people crazy if this is their base defense. Then for sale it is just an absolutely killer of a play. You're going to pick up easy yards against basically any D in the game and it's just going to be a consistent chain mover for your offense. Now for both of these plays we're going over today in this video they're going to use the same motion. We're going to motion our tight end across the formation and he's going to move to kind of an H back sniffer spot. Now I've also already released an RPO bubble with this same tight end motion that I absolutely love. And then today I also released a brand new video on my membership page that is using this same motion. So this is going to give us five different plays we can go to all utilizing this tight end H back sniffer role. Now the two setups I'm releasing today in my membership video are also going to be at a sale. One of them is going to be another great way to attack zone coverage really good against those double Mabel defenses. And then the other setup is probably my most consistent man beating play in this whole Oregon offense. Now, if you want to see that video out on my membership page and a whole bunch more in this Oregon offense to really unlock it and take it to the next level, I will leave a link to the membership down in the description below. Okay, let's go over the adjustments for PA bubble Y over first. Okay, so we always want the running back to the wide side of the field. Then we want to put the slot receiver on the wide side. We want to put him on a slant. This is going to be a nice hot over the middle and it is also going to attack the sideline to the short side of the field. Then we just want to take our tight end and motion him across the formation into that H back roll. And that is it guys. That is all for the adjustments. It's super quick and easy. All right, let's go look at the reads for this play. Okay. So our read number one, look to the wide side of the field. If they are in zone and we have time in the pocket, we are going to hit the tight end along the sideline. This does not matter if they are double flatting, if they have zone drop set, this route will get behind them. Okay. So our first read here, we're going to motion this player over and we're just going to read this player here and we're really looking at the flat defender. So right here we snap the ball and look at we have double flats on this side. Double Mabel with our receiver on the outside here running off the corner. So double Mabel, look at that. And this tight end route is going to get behind these guys basically every single time. And the other thing you got to remember with double Mabel, they have double flats on both sides. They have three deep and they have the user in the middle of the field. That means they can only rush three. So we're going to have five to block three. We should have time to let this tight end route develop down the field. We see here there's just an absolutely massive pocket right there. That is a 38 yard throw getting in behind those zone drops for a huge game. Okay, now we can also run this though. You know, we can still go here if they don't have zone drop set. Basically, we can throw this anytime against zone coverage as long as we have time in the pocket. So we see right here, not double flatting, but this player is still playing at about 15 yards, but this route just gets too deep, too far behind him. We can just lay that up towards the sideline, get two feet in and get another huge game down the field. Okay, read number two. If they bring quick pressure, we can hit the slant hot over the middle, or if they're playing hard flats on the short side of the field, you can also hit the slant along the sideline if they don't have a deeper flat defender there. Okay, now if that gets taken away, our next read is going to be this wide receiver. He is just going to be on this slant route. This is really a two man game with our running back and our slant. So basically we're just going to pick and choose on this one. We got to be aware that this slant can be a really good hot over the middle. So this is a deeper developing play. But if they bring a blitz, their user comes down to the box. Now he kind of leaves to the running back. Now the middle of the field is open. 
fire in that slant. So if he sends pressure, they're bringing extra people in the box and the middle of the field is wide open, throw that slant right away. Now the tech, second time we can throw the slant is in along the sideline. So what we're gonna see here, the middle of the field is a little more taken away. The user stays on this route. Now we're gonna let it run for just a heck. Okay, so right here, you look here, like our tight end is wide open. There is a hole about 15 to 20 yards big. I could have fired it in there, but now we look at the short side, we see hard flat defender here getting pulled down onto our running back into the flat. So now if they don't have a double flat defender here, guys, this slant route coming across the field is gonna get wide open to this spot. We can also wait along the sideline and just throw that slant in there. There is no one even close to him. Then our third read, if they bring up blitz or if they have no hard flats on the short side of the field, you can just check it down to the running back and let him make a play. Okay, then and lastly, if we get a bunch of pressure, we see blitz here, four man rush, another blitz coming off this side. So we're getting a pretty heavy blitz. Obviously we don't wanna wait for that tight end route down the field. And then we see here, we have no hard flats in the flats. Now we just can get it out into the running back's hands right here, get it in his hands, let him get up field, go make a play. So that is how you beat the blitz with this play. Okay, now the adjustments for sale. Once again, we want the running back to the wide side of the field. Then we wanna take the outside wide receiver on the double side on that wide side and put him on a streak this is just going to be a clear out route for us then exact same thing guys just take that tight end and motion him across the field so once again basically one adjustment and a motion super quick and easy and simple okay our first read look to the running back in the flat if they have no hard flat you can throw right after the cut if they have a hard flat you can also low ball right after the cut before the running back gets to the hard flat okay now our money route on this play guys is really going to be this running back here and this is a super unique route it is really what makes this kind of simple play so effective it is just absolutely money so we can really throw it at two points in this setup it also destroys against man coverage i'm going to go over that in the membership video looking at this route first basically if they don't have hard flats on the field obviously this route is just going to get wide open we have our corner route going to pull back that deeper flat defender there's going to be no one out here fire it out into the running back right away. Rack, catch it, make guys miss, get up field 15 yards. So that's great, but what makes it even better is if they're playing hard flats, we can also throw this right after the break. So we see right here, this is a hard flat out here, but he's starting out here. So this player is getting up, then he's cutting out. So if you go just directly to the flats, this player can just come down downhill make a tackle before you gain much yards but this is third and five now when this player cuts out right when he cuts out this player is already starting back so now we can just low ball that in in front of that player that's third and five with hard flats on the field and we pick up a first down read number two if the running back is taken away look to the wide side and if they don't have a second flat defender throw the corner route up the sideline. And our second read is very obvious. So if they have hard flats and we don't, you know, throw that running back really quick. So right here, this flat defender plays on the running back a lot better. This player is getting pulled down. We look here, they don't have a second player back. So now this is just stealing with that corner out, guys. Like nobody even close. Rack, catch it, get it in Tyree Kill's hands, pick up, you know, 20, 25 yards. And for read number three, if they hard flat and they have a second flat defender, or if the user runs with the corner route, we want to look to the dig over the middle of the field. And okay, now we can really start to work the other side of the field. So let's say they're double flatting right here and right here, and the user leaves the middle of the field. So this is fourth and 12. This is a really big down. So what we have, we have this backside dig route. So we see they do, you know, take all this away, but now we have that backside dig route when that, when that user vacates the middle of the field that we can just fire in for fourth and 12 for a conversion. And for our fourth read, if the dig is taken away, look to the short side of the field. If there is no hard flat defender, you can throw this motioned over whip going to the short side. And then the last route that is really unique, guys, is this whip route that we motion across the field. So he's starting in line. He's starting a little deeper as he runs this whip route. So basically look here. Okay, that's not really there. This player is kind of matching. This might've been kind of a hybrid match cover 
coverage. So this is pretty much taken away. Then we see the user is playing more in the middle of the field. We also have this spy in the middle of the field. But what do we see on this side of the field? There is no hard flat defender. So that is when we have this whip coming back late. So right here, he's still going to the sideline. We can rack catch here, get up field, and we're able to pick up 15 yards. This mini scheme is going to make you incredibly hard to stop on offense. But defense in Madden 22 is an even more important skill. So I did some testing and it led to some incredible results that are going to alter the way I approach defense for the rest of the year. Watch this video here and see if it impacts you the same way it did me.